Hey there, Paper Geeks and Glitter Nerds, it's Anna, the Crazy Geek Crafter, and uh, I couldn't let this paper pack go, so I made five more cards. I also needed five more cards for my uh, Christmas cards to send out, and they're sent, and hopefully, fingers crossed, they'll make it. I'm going to make Infinity Shaker cards, and I was checking to see if the sequence that I bought at Tristan Agrain fit with their paper pack, but they didn't really, so I just ended up using the fixed note on everything. I will be using a rectangle die to cut the uh, base, so to speak, of the uh, shaker card. But since this is paper and not cardstock, I'm going to glue these onto cardstock before I die cut them. That will give them a good press and the paper should stay on the cardstock, hopefully. I will be making these infinity shakers the way, uh, same way I did the New Year's cards with cellophane and some red tape. And in this case, not sequence, but fake snow. That's actually all there's to it. Now I did get one advice from, I think if more than one YouTuber online. Um, I was binge watching Christmas decor from the United States. And uh, one of the ladies said to cut a hole in the bottom corner of your bag, not to try and open it at the top. And it was a really good tip. I didn't have much spillage. I had some, but that was partly because I cut the hole too small. And I always start out small. And then I, uh, I uh, cut it bigger and bigger because you can never make the hole smaller. You can only make it bigger. The same with piping bags. I do the same thing. So... Uh, but I managed to get the snow in there and mostly keep my table clean. Of course, a, uh, a lint roller is always a good thing to have in your craft stash. I always keep one nearby for accidents like this and I'm going to need it uh, probably before Christmas since I uh, might be throwing glitter around my table again. Yes, I know I told you earlier this year that I hate glitter. I still hate it. But um, I gotta use it for something, and I think I found a project that will appeal to me. So I hopefully will get that done before Christmas and can show you the project. If not, well, then you'll just have to see it after. But I'm just going to make these five cards and then be back to talk about the sentiment.
I like the look of the sentiments on black. Uh, there are a lot of stamp sets where you can do this and you can also of course color them in. I just wanted mine in black so I did them on my uh, laser printer which in my opinion with the printers I have at my disposal is the best solution when you want something really black. I did contemplate foiling these. I have actually bought some silver foil that I wanted to try for Christmas but I didn't want to crawl under the table and find the laminator and try to foil it. And if you remember my last attempt at foiling with the laser printing, it didn't go as smoothly as I'd hoped. So I just figured black would be fine for my cards. Now I just have to cut them out and glue them on. And to make sure they stay on, I'm going to com uh, combine red tape and liquid glue. So hopefully the sentiments will stay on.
with this card, I can call my Christmas card project done for this year. I'm still thinking about how I'm going to do it next year so I don't get distressed and have more time for other projects. But here is the last Christmas card video for this year. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back next week for something else. Until then, I hope you'll be having a good day, evening or night.